We're going to go through the basic uh, operation of the uh, keys in this space healer. All right. To turn on the device, you just push the on button just once. Okay. Uh, after you turn on the device, you can see the red light, the on button is lit up. If you want to increase the power, you push this plus button. Just hold it down. It takes a few seconds for the light to come up. When the right, uh, light reaches the maximum, the power reaches the maximum, you can hear this sound, you know, a continuous sound, B sound. That means the maximum power has been achieved. Then, decreasing the power, you push the minus button here. All right? It takes a few seconds for the light get dimmer and dimmer until when the, light go, when the power goes to zero, you can hear another beep sound. Okay? So this is the minimum zero power and then pressing it, you increase the power. So this is how you turn on the device. Turn the power to the maximum the person can tolerate, and then start using the device. The device operates on a basic frequency of 60 with the basic program in operation just by turning this uh, button. Now, if you want to turn off the device, to turn off the power, these two buttons here, the off button, involve the mode button and the minus button to be pressed together simultaneously. All right? By doing that, you turn off the device. The power is off. Once again, turn on the power, turn off the power. All right? It's different. Not the same button, but different buttons involved. Turn on the power, turn off the power like this. All right. Now, there are four functional uh, buttons here. There are four functional uh, modes that you can utilize using this mode button. All right. You turn on the light of the mode with this mode button, just pushing it like this, and you can shift the light. The dose mode, to turn on the dose mode, you bring on the light and quickly push the plus button within three seconds. Let me try it again. You turn on the light and quickly turn the plus button. That is the way to turn on the dose or the diagnostic mode. To turn off the mode, bring on the light again, push the minus button. That is to turn off the dose mode or the diagnostic mode. Okay? Turn on the light, a plus. That means the mode is on. Right? Now, I want to demonstrate the dose mode. Dose mode will deliver a dose automatically. You can see the light coming on in succession. Now, one light on, two light, three light, and then four light. When all four lights lit up, that means a dose has been delivered. Now, a dose mode, it can also be used for diagnostic purpose. Let's say when you place a device on different part of the, of the uh, spine, for example, if it takes longer time in certain area for the four lights to lit up, that means that area is a problem area. Like that spinal segment may be a problem area. So it also serves as a, for some diagnostic purpose. Okay? The dose mode and diagnostic mode. When you, when you take it off, the cycle will restart again. You put it back on, all right, then it will take another dose or give you another dose of treatment. That means when all the four lights will eventually lit up. Okay? So one light on, all four lights lit up. That's a dose. Okay. Turn off the dose, bring on the dose light, minus at the same time, quickly. AMO, you bring on the light on the AM, push the plus, okay? AM is a amplitude modification. Basically what it means is that amplitude will fluctuate up and down three seconds high and one second down. To you, it will feel like as if the device is three seconds on and one second off. All right. But you can see from the light here, let me turn on the uh, power a bit so that you can visualize the light. All right, see that? On, off. On, off. So it feels like the power is searching up and down. So searching up for three seconds, and go down for one second. That's the amplitude modification. To turn off this, this mode, 
bring on the light and push the minus button quickly. We want to demonstrate the FM, bring on the FM light and push the plus button before the light goes out. In this way, in, under the FM, within 7 seconds, the frequency will automatically sweep from 10 hertz to 120 hertz within the 7 seconds. So you'll feel the, the pulsing kind of going very high, frequent, intense, and then go, go low. Now, again, you can, sort of, you can visualize this change in this, in this uh, light, the power light. See, this is a low frequency. Now, let me turn on the power a bit so you can visualize it easier. Okay, this is low frequency and going up to higher frequency. It's automatic. Within seven seconds, the frequency was seven seconds from 10 hertz to 120 hertz within seven seconds. Now, the, we will turn off, bring on the light, put the minus, and then we go finally to the fixed, full fixed frequency. Here, you have a choice of different frequencies. 14, 60, 120, 320, go down, 120, 60, 14. Okay, go up again, 60, 120, 320, 120, 60, 14, all right? You have to go stepwise. You can't just jump from 14 to 320. You have to go up. 14, 60, 120, 320. And you can visualize it when it is at 14. Of course, you can also see that when it get become brighter and brighter, that means the frequency is increasing. You can use a higher frequency for acute treatment, for acute kind of pain, and use a low frequency for chronic. But, you know, it really, you know, they work either way, whether which, whichever frequency you use. From your experience, you'll find out. Okay? Now, the basic frequency is actually 60. All right, you turn it back to the 60. Okay, that's your basic frequency, which is automatically utilized when you turn on the device. All right, of all these four modes of operation, you can actually turn on all four simultaneously. All you need to do is bring on the light, let's say AM plus, FM plus. This way you have AM and FM on simultaneously. Now, we use this very often for pointed treatment from one spot area you want the AM and FM together. This is very often used because it makes this treatment more dynamic. The amplitude fluctuate, the frequency fluctuate simultaneously. To, to store this information, you will, can be done by when you turn off the de device. When you turn off the power, this information is stored. When you turn on again, you can see these two lights are on. All right? The mode is only being stored when you turn off the device. Without turning off the device, it's not being stored. Right. You can tell it's already stored. See the two lights on? Right. Now, if I want to clear this together quickly, I will do a reset. Very important to learn this reset. Most important uh, function to use, most often to use. The reset, that means you want to clear off everything in the memory. You hold down the mode button, and then simultaneously give, give the on button one push. Then you let go of the mode button. It's not done simultaneously. And a lot of people think you do it like this, Sometimes it may, it will reset, sometimes it may not. So the most reliable way of doing this is to, you hold down this mode button, and then give the on button one push, uh, and then you let go. That way you reset it. You clear off everything, the power is turned to zero. Okay, this is the most often used function. Now, you can actually turn on all these modes together, all right? AM, FM, or F mode or dose mode. You can turn it on, off, on together, all right? And then you turn it off, you can see that all three are on. Actually, F is the basic, so it's already on. It's not showed up here, all right? All three are turned on. So if you want to turn off all three together, you can do it singly, all right? Or you can do it together by resetting it. If you do it singly, bring on the light, minus it, bring on the light of AM, minus it, bring on the light of FM, minus it. That way you turn off everything. So when you test it again, it's all off, all right? You can plus it, plus it, plus it. Then you store it. You have to store it by off. If you don't do that, you know, and you turn it on again to restart, then everything will be clear. All the function will be, will be cleared. See that? It's on, 
right? Because you already turn off the device to store the ma the function. Okay, that's an important distinction. So sometimes people will be uh, turning this on, and then they turn they restart the device by pushing the on button, and actually clear off everything. And they wonder why they just turn on the mode and it's gone, because it's only stored when you push the off button together. After you use a device uh, for a few months, you know the battery will probably go down. When the battery's voltage drop from 10 volts to below 7 volts, that means the, the, the battery is, is dead. It's not you know, enough sufficient to operate this. Sometimes you, all, you can also pick this up when you find out that you cannot turn on the power to very high. Right? This is another sign that the battery is, is going down. You can also detect this when you turn on the device and you can hear this kind of continuous beeping sound. Right? Or some kind of funny, funny uh, noise is, you know, is uh, indicating that the battery is low. Right? You can hear this in a continuous beeping sound. That means the battery is low. Right? In this situation, you have to change the battery. So first, turn off the device. Right? Turn it off. And then, you slide open the, the, the battery cover lid in the, in the bottom. Right? Just slide it halfway, and you take off the, the dead battery. And then, you want to replace it with a good one. Now, there's only one way it can go in. There's an indication for uh, plus, you know, positive and a negative uh, polarity. If you go the wrong way, you will not be able to cover the lid. Of course, you should not force it. If you find that you know that you have placed the battery you know, wrongly. So this is only one way to, to go in. The positive negative is indicated inside. There's a picture there to show you the, pro, uh, the proper way of putting the battery, the proper polarity. And then you put the lid on halfway, and then you slide o over. And that's how you, the battery is replaced. Okay? You can see now you're not making this kind of noise anymore. Of course, whatever the memory is there was already there. So what we need to do, reset it. Always reset your device All right, when you use it. So reset is the most commonly used function because we oftentimes forget what we've used last time. So always remember to reset. Now we can also make use of the uh, comb to treat the hairy area such as the scalp. First, we need to connect the uh, comb to the space heater properly. And then we want to test the level of the power by placing the comb firmly over the scalp. Now the scalp generally tend to be more sensitive. So you do not need to turn on the power very high. But at least you should achieve a, uh, a strong stimulation. And there are many different kinds of uh, acupuncture points. And you place the comb squarely over the area, such as the acupuncture point. Or you can also slowly drag the comb over the scalp. So depending on your requirement, you can just place the comb over different part of the scalp, such as the top, so the temple area, or you can also use put it on the the back part, the occipital area. Now we can also treat the back by using the specially designed handle. And this way we can detox the spine. And we can connect this with the handle. And then you can treat yourself over the back, different part of the back. Importantly, you must fir firmly press the space healer against the skin over the back area for a minute or so and then you can move the device around different part of the back depending on your need you can stay there for half a minute or more than a few minutes or you can just move the space healer along the spine and with practice you will be able to do it more smoothly 
and then you can bring the space healer to the middle part of the back and this way you can treat the whole spine then after treating the lower back you can reach the upper part of the spine from the top and you can put it under the clothes and you can shift this to different part you can do that reading a newspaper or watching TV in a seated position and by performing this regularly you can perform a very good uh, spinal detox treatment and you can bring it down further and then place it over different part of the spine okay in this manner you can just move it up and down the spine slowly <laughs>